Kuvas. The Kuvas, Hungarian pronunciation, is an ancient breed of livestock dog of Hungarian origin. Mention of the breed can be found in old Hungarian texts. They have historically been royal guard dogs, or guarded livestock, but have been increasingly found in homes as pets over the last 70 years. Description Appearance The Kuvas is a large dog with a dense, double, odorless coat which is white in color and can range from wavy to straight in texture. Although the fur is white, the Kuvas's skin pigmentation should be dark and the nose should be black. The eyes should have an almond shape. Females usually weigh between 32 to 41 kilograms, 70 to 90 pounds, while males weigh between 45 to 52 kilograms, 100 to 115 pounds, with a medium bone structure. The head should be half as wide as it is long with the eyes set slightly below the plane of the muzzle. The stop, where the muzzle raises to the crown of the head, should be defined but not abrupt. The precise standard varies by country. See the breed standards for a more precise description. Dot, to a casual observer, the Kuvas may appear similar to a Great Pyrenees, Akbash, a Marema Sheepdog, Slovak Kuvak and the Polish Tatra Sheepdog, all of which are similar in size, coat color, and general appearance. As with many livestock guardian dogs, the color of the Kuvas's coat serves a functional purpose and is an essential breed criterion. Shepherds purposefully bred the Kuvas to have a light-colored coat so that it would be easier for the shepherds to distinguish the Kuvas from wolves that would prey on the livestock during the night. The Commandor, a cousin of the Kuvas, has a white coat for the same reason. Traditionally, the Hungarian Kuvas's coat could be either white or cream-colored with a wavy texture. However, there is some debate, particularly in the United States, concerning the appropriateness of cream-colored coats and show-quality dogs and whether the coat should be straight or wavy in texture. Since washing and brushing out a coat, as done for shows in the U.S. also causes the coat to appear straight, the debate may be circular. Dot straighter coats may also have appeared as the result of breeding programs that developed after World War II, when the breeding lines in Hungary were isolated from the rest of the world as a result of Soviet and German occupation, see history, below. By Hungarian standard the straight coat is not acceptable. There must be special twirls in the coat. Temperament The Kuvas is an intelligent dog and is often described as having a clownish sense of humor which can last throughout their adolescence and into adulthood. They are intensely loyal and patient pets who appreciate attention but may also be somewhat aloof or independent, as well as thoroughly cunning, particularly with strangers. They rank a low 42nd in Stanley Corn's The Intelligence of Dogs. But keep in mind that Corin's criteria focus on how fast a dog can learn obedience strict a limited test of intelligence. The Kuvas breed is for experienced handlers only. The combination of intelligence, independence, and protectiveness make obedience training and socialization absolute necessities. They are strictly working dogs, bred for centuries to think independently and act without instruction, scanning and evaluating the environment and taking protective or deterrent action as needed. This was a vital trait in their solitary duties protecting livestock. That independence can make training a difficult task, wearing on the patience of even experienced owners. Kuvas quickly understand what is being asked of them, but they have to respect a person as a trusted leader before they'll obey commands. They're also not usually interested in meaningless activity, such as doing entertaining tricks. As a result, they are not recommended for novices and those who do not have time to train and socialize them properly. An adolescent Kuvas should be able to learn basic obedience commands and consistently respond to them, however the instinctive need to investigate strangers and protect its owner may cause the Kuvas to act independently when off-leash and ignore the calls of a handler. Interactions with other dogs, especially first meetings, should be managed carefully. That one of the tasks of a livestock guardian is to kill wolves, coyotes, and other predators, and this instinct remains intact in the modern dog. Handlers should be alert to signs of tension, and intervene before a dangerous situation develops. However, a well-socialized, well-trained Kuvas will usually ignore, play with, or go exploring with other dogs once a successful introduction has been made. A potential owner should refrain from purchasing a Kuvas if barking will be a problem at the home. While not every Kuvas is prone to barking, socializing them will define what is a threat, many of them fulfill their guardian role by vocally warning off potential threats both real and imagined. On the other hand, many of these qualities make the Kuvas excellent guardians for sheep or large estates. The Kuvas has a very special, close connection to his owner or family, as well as anyone in their circle, human or animal, that the dog considers part of the flock. 
he will protect all of them. He may also police interactions among them, such as discouraging rough play by herding rowdy individuals away from the group. The owner has the responsibility for setting clear, consistent limits on this behavior. That connection can easily be lost if the dog is humiliated, confused by contradictory commands, or otherwise abused. In Romania, a breed-specific legislation specifies that Kuvas must be muzzled when in public places. History Around 2000 BC, the Magyar tribes moved along the recently established trade routes of the steppes, gradually leading them to the Carpathian Basin in Hungary which they conquered in 896 AD with them came Kuvas-type dogs, which primarily served as livestock guardians. In 1978, the fossilized skeleton of a 9th-century Kuvas-type dog was discovered in Fennec Pristin near Caste, a discovery which was remarkable in that the morphology of the skeleton was almost identical to a modern Kuvas. After the Magyar settlement of the Carpathian Basin, the tribes converted to a more agrarian lifestyle and began to devote more resources towards animal husbandry. Whereas the Commandor was used in the lower elevations with drier climates, the Kuvas was used in the wet pastures of the higher mountains and both were an integral part of the economy. Later, during the 15th century, the Kuvas became a highly prized animal and could be found in the royal court of King Matthias Corvinus. Kuvas puppies were given to visiting dignitaries as a royal gift, and the king was said to have trusted his dogs more than his own counselors. After the king's death, the popularity of the breed among the nobles waned but it was still frequently found in its traditional role of protecting livestock. By the end of World War II, nearly all the Kuvas dogs in Hungary had been killed. The dogs had such a reputation for protecting their families that they were actively sought and killed by German and Soviet soldiers, while at the same time some German officers used to take Kuvas dogs home with them. After the Soviet invasion and the end of the war, the breed was nearly extinct in Hungary. After the war, it was revealed that fewer than 30 Kuvas were left in Hungary and some sources indicate the number may have been as few as 12. Since then, due to many dedicated breeders, Kuvas breed have repopulated Hungary. However, as a result of this near extinction, the genetic pool available to breeders was severely restricted and there is conjecture that some may have used other breeds, such as the Great Pyrenees, to continue their programs. The issue is further clouded by the need to use an open stud book system at the time to rebuild the breed. Possible Origins of the Breed Name The word most likely comes from the Turkic word kab as meaning guard or soldier or kawas meaning protector. A related theory posits that the word may have originated from the ancient farmers of Russia, the Chuvash, who nurtured the breed for generations and contributed many words to the Hungarian language. Grooming The Kuvas's stiff, dense coat, growing up to 15 cm in length, does not require any special grooming. It needs to be brushed once a week or, better still, every two or three days. For standard grooming purposes, use of a grooming rake or a pin brush with rounded pins is recommended. To remove stubborn knots, use a curry comb or a large toothed comb. During the spring and autumn the kuvas molts, also known as shedding, and he will lose copious amounts of hair very quickly. Frequent brushing is therefore needed to keep his coat tidy. A kuvas should not smell or have an odor, such as usually a sign of illness or a poor diet. Health Although generally a healthy and robust breed which can be expected to live approximately 12 to 14 years, the Kuvas are prone to developmental bone problems. Accordingly, owners should take care to provide proper nutrition to their Kuvas puppy and avoid subjecting the puppy to rough play. As with many large breeds, hip dysplasia, a painful and potentially debilitating condition, is not uncommon. Good genetics and proper nutrition as a puppy are key to avoiding these complications. The belief that a large breed puppies including Kuvas puppy should not be fed a diet high in calories or protein has largely been dispelled by studies. Bone and joint disorders are thought to be genetic. However, weight can be an influencing factor. Puppies should be fed a balanced diet. The Kuvas has a very efficient metabolism and is predisposed to rapid growth. Vitamin supplements are not necessary and, in fact, should be avoided. Cooked bones should never be given to a kuvas or any other dog because the cooking process renders the bone brittle and prone to splintering, which can cause serious injury to the dog's mouth and digestive tract. It is important breeders screen their breeding stock for common inherited disease for kuvas as recommended by the Canine Health Information Center. Gallery Similar breeds